Hey friends, it's Dexter here, and I'm so pumped to be here with you today. Do you have a favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of dinner food is macaroni and cheese. I'm always hungry for macaroni and cheese. Do you agree with me when I say that there is nothing better than that I would rather come home to than my favorite meal? There's nothing better when you've been moving around all day and you've been extra busy and you're feeling super hungry, maybe even hangry, and you come home not just to a meal, but it's your favorite meal. Today's breaking news was about a time when God did just that for the Israelites and provided for them in a way that they had never expected. At this point in their story, the whole Israelite community had been wandering through the desert looking for the land that God had promised them. All of the Israelites were grumbling and complaining to Moses and Aaron. They had lost sight of every good thing that God had done for them up until that point and were ready to just give up. They were hungry, they were tired, and they were frustrated. So this is what the Bible says happened. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will cause bread to fall down from the sky for you like rain. Each day the people must go out and pick up enough bread for that day. In this way, I will test them and I'll discover whether they will obey my rules. On the sixth day, they must pick up and prepare twice as much bread. Exodus 16, 4 to 5. So Moses and Aaron told all the Israelites that that night and again in the morning, they would see just how great God is. That evening, quails appeared and they covered all the ground around the tents, giving them plenty of meat to eat for dinner. In the morning, there was dew on the ground around the tents, and when the dew had gone, thin white pieces remained on the dry ground there in the desert. It seemed like frost on the ground, but it was actually bread sent right from heaven. Moses told them that each family must pick up as much as they need to eat. So that is what the Israelites did. Some of them picked up a lot of food, some of them picked up only a little food, but when they measured the right amount, everyone had enough to eat. The people who had picked up a lot did not have too much, and the people who only had picked up a little bit of food still had enough to eat. Each person had picked up an, what they needed. God had their grumbling, and He provided for each of the Israelites. There was plenty of food from heaven to go around. They were no longer hungry, tired, or frustrated. Just like God was willing and able to provide exactly what the Israelites needed, He is willing and able to provide exactly what we need too. There is a verse in Philippians that says, And my God will supply all your needs according to His riches in, glor in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 This verse tells us that God will meet all of our needs. Do you know that God is with us all the time. He is with us every single day. That means He not only hears us of what we need when we talk to Him through our prayers, but He knows what we need because He's walking through it all with us. According to this verse in Philippians, we can trust that God can and will meet all of our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Just like God was willing and able to provide exactly what the Israelites needed, He is willing and able to provide exactly what we need to. God promises to provide for us. Can you repeat that after me? God promises to provide. God promises to provide for us. God is good. He loves you so much and He has an amazing plan for your life, so He will never leave in lack. Don't ever forget that. Let's pray. God, I just pray that in, in the tough seasons that we might be facing right now, Lord, that we would continue to press on and know that what you have for our future is good, Lord. We thank you that you, you, you're a God that provides it whenever we need, Lord, and that we just pray that we would grow our trust in you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want to pray for one more group of people before I finish. I want to pray for those of you who would like to take a moment to choose to follow Jesus. I want to give you a chance to invite Jesus into your heart. He's my best friend and He helps me do everything that I do and He loves you. If that's you and if you would like to invite Jesus to come and live in your heart and to live like Jesus by following Him, you can put up your hand right now and show Jesus that, hey, that's me. I want you in my life. We're going to pray a prayer together. I'll say a line, then you can say it too. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads so that we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, 
Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you that you love me. I ask you right now that you come into my heart, that you be my best friend, my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me for all the wrongdoing things that I have done. And help me to become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's, let's give Jesus a big round of applause. See you next time.